but that's the first club I worked. The manager was name was Angelo. He's the, they murdered him brutally. Oh man, I told you that story. How bad he was. He would walk up to people on the line and go, "Oh my God, you look like go go <laughs> home, you stinking bastard." <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. He was crazy, man. Glenn, he was crazy. You, I mean, literally, he would go to a guy and say, oh, my God, how, is that your girlfriend? How do you, he even look like his breath stinks. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> he was, and I said to him, i never forget one night, the, the, the last time he did something, I walked over to him and I said, Angelo, listen to me, man. You're going to get yourself killed or one of us. Oh, Apollo, listen, I don't, you know, these guys, they like, they crazy. They come in here and they look like doodle and they want to work and they want to they wanna dance with their girlfriend. And I tell them, how can you be with him? He's such a sleaze boy. Get off my line, you stinking, dirty man. You. That's how you would talk to people. And guess what? So that night, I'll never forget one Friday night, I, got, I, said, I said, dude, man, you're going to get yourself killed. He said, I don't care. It would be so worth it because <laughs> I would die being around this deadly, stinking human being. That's all he would talk, man. I kid you not. Yeah. So I quit because the dude was going to get us killed, man. Right. He was horrible. I mean, a horrible human being. One night I got a call and they said, yo, guess what happened? I said, what happened, man? They said they found Angelo under the 59th Street Bridge. They stabbed him so many times that it drained, all the blood drained out of his body. Wow. They found him on a park bench. He had got stabbed like 50-something times. Wow. But I seen it coming because he was, when I tell you I'm not exaggerating, I'm even editing how he would talk to people. Uh -huh. I would say, yo, dude, what are you doing? You're going to get us killed. Because you got to remember, we're standing outside. No matter how bad we are, all we got to do is be distracted by looking at somebody's license or a car pull up. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And he didn't realize. And I would tell him, dude, man, you can't do that. And he's, I don't care. Listen to me. You think I care ab about this sleaze bag of a human being that comes in my club thinking that he's going to come in and he's dirty as all hell? No, Apollo, get him off my line. He's a piece of trash.